Hey everybody, Yogi here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm passing Sunburst Ski Hill. You can ski, you can board, you can tube. Here, let's take this out here and show you. This is Kewaskum, Wisconsin. Just north of where I live. It's quiet now, but there'll be people here skiing and tubing and frolicking in the snow later on today. They got lots of uh, tubing hills. Look at those. That looks like fun, actually. I'd like to do that sometime. Today is uh, one of those days where uh, I'm off and I uh, kind of like the last couple of day, a uh, couple of videos, actual videos. Um, it's just been get in the car, look for something to film. It is beautiful out, sunshine, but that's it. It's uh, three degrees right now as we speak, so it's very, very cold outside. And I'm not looking to get out of my car <laughs> for very long. Uh, if we do find something to film, it'll be quick. Uh, just kind of driving around, you know. Do you consider this a road trip? Comment below. It's getting out into my car and, and driving around my, uh, you know, county or a couple counties around my county and I suppose you consider that a road trip but unfortunately I can't really go where I'd like to go which is warmer climates because unfortunately I have a job like most of us do but if you go on www.patreon.com forward slash road trips with yogi and see that, uh, check out that website and then consider helping support me that way. I will be in the future able to go on some longer excursions outside of Wisconsin. I mean, I do get out once or twice a year outside of Wisconsin. There's a lot to film in Wisconsin too, don't get me wrong. It's just finding it. And especially now, you know, we're at the end of January, and it's usually deep freeze season around here. It will, I mean, this isn't supposed to last, this cold blast. I think it's supposed to last one more day, and then go back up to the temps in the 20s, and maybe even 30 Celsius. But uh, yeah, today, three degrees. Mm, there ain't gonna be a whole lot to uh, check out, so. We'll find stuff though. I guarantee. So let's go. Oh wait, I'm already in the car and driving. Never mind. We're now entering the village of Campbellsport. This is in Fond du Lac County. Um, population at uh, as of 2010. 2016 so that number is wrong on that sign it said 19 something so that needs to be updated they have a motto here it takes a village and that it does they used to have a bowling alley here uh, is it still here I think that's it right there it was named after Stuart Campbell an early settler it was also called Campbell's Port or West New Cassell. Uh, Campbell's Port was incorporated in 1902, absorbing the older nearby village of New Cassell. Up here on the corner, I believe, is the old Campbell's Port Hotel on the right. We are now in downtown. Campbell's Port, so to speak. It's not a very big downtown area at all. In 2008, the body of a female was discovered near here. The identity of the individual remained a mystery until 2021 when she was identified as Amy Yearly. So don't know if... Uh, suspect in her murder has been caught 
Campbellsport is represented by Glenn Grothman, who is a Republican, Wisconsin 6th District. And Senators Ron Johnson, who is a Republican, and Tammy Baldwin, who is Democratic, uh, Democrat. In 2012, three teenagers were killed in a car accident here, and the crash became a subject of a YouTube documentary, part of a teenage driving safety campaign. I did not know that. I have not heard anything about that. But I find that pretty interesting. People who were born in this area, L.J. Felins, F-E-L-L-E-N-Z, or Felins. He was a Wisconsin State Senator and lawyer. He attended school here. Glenn Grothman, Wisconsin State Senator and member of the United States House of Representatives. He lived in Campbellsport. Ignatius Klotz, or Klotz, Wisconsin politician and father, lived here. Roman Catholic Bishop Salvador Albert Schaefer Berg was born here in Campbellsport, as was Alfred Van D. Zand, or Zandy, hope I pronounced that right, Wisconsin State Representative, he was born here as well. And H. Albert Rucky, who was a state representative and businessman, lived in Campbellsport. Somebody's moving out of that building. I wonder. That's a fairly new building right there. And then you got your True Value Hardware store there. Blue Door Coffee Company. Didn't know that was that was here. You got what used to be a diner. I don't know if it is still a diner. It's an old. Fussy Phoebe's closed. It's a mixture of new and old. This building here, I think, used to be a grocery store on the right. This liquidations. I don't know what it is now. It says they're open. So I don't know what they sell in there. What kind of liquidations they have. But I believe that was a grocery store at one point. You got a beautiful church over here. And just as you're leaving, pretty sure that used to be here in Campbellsport. Unless I'm, my old age is catching up with me. There used to be a really big building on the outskirts of town here. So see, it's still Campbellsport, uh, the downtown area, so to speak, goes quite a way. Probably a mile. I don't see that building anymore. I think they tore that down. There was a larger building that was kind of like straight ahead that you, still, you could see. It was a big building that was looming over the town. But I think they tore that down. Again, I think it was right. I don't know if you can see my hand or not, but it was, it's, it was like right straight ahead, maybe a little bit to the left. Yeah, there used to be a building there. I'm, I'm, again, unless I'm losing my mind, there used to be something up there. Maybe a, a asylum or something? I don't know. If you're from Campbellsport, comment below and tell me I'm right, please. Because as of right now, I think I'm losing my mind. Boy, I'm willing to... <laughs> Shouldn't say I'm willing to bet money. But I could have swore there was something right up on top of this hill. The School Sisters of St. Francis. So that's what that building must have been. But it's gone. We're gonna have to take on get we're gonna have to get out and take a look at this. I was right. St. Joseph Convent. In 1874, three German immigrant women fleeing persecution in their homeland settled in Campbellsport, Wisconsin. They established a new religious order known as the School Sisters of St. Francis and taught in St. Matthew Parish School. In 1933, St. Joseph Convent, a retirement home for the sisters, was built in Campbellsport. The building was raised in 2016. This land will always remain holy ground to the School Sisters of St. Francis. And I don't know if you can get a good shot of that, but that is the building 
that I remember seeing. I can't believe it's been, wow, going on seven years that that building has been gone. It used to be right on this property here. So I was not losing my mind. I was correct. Chalk went up for Yogi. The mind is still sharp as a tack. And they got a nice little library here in town. Free movies. They got a movie coming up on, well, that was January 20th, so that's past. Looks like they're starting to develop this area a little bit more. Got their own post office. Newer subdivision. And they're starting to expand. And coming up on the left is the Piggly Wiggly. The Campbellsport Piggly Wiggly. Nothing like having a cemetery right across the street from, <laughs> from the grocery store. I'm guessing this building on the left might have been an old school at one point. And there it is, the one and only gas station in town. But least they have one. There's Campbellsport High School. Home of the Cougars. Interesting that they cut that tree, but they didn't cut it down completely. Now up at the, the intersection, we're going to uh, see a big brick building I don't know if it's more of a cream city brick, but it's more of a brickish type building. It's going to be on the southeast corner of this intersection, which is on my right side across the street here. That building right there, that I believe is the old hotel of Campbellsport. It was a, it was one time a hotel, and um, the gentleman who owned the hotel passed away, and supposedly the building is haunted. I know every old building's haunted, but I'm just telling you what I've heard over the years that uh, the old Campbellsport hotel. Haunted by a power former off. Oh, oh okay power off says the Bluetooth speaker in my car. My radio doesn't work, so I have a Bluetooth speaker that I velcro on top of my uh, dashboard, so I can listen to something, so I don't go completely crazy for now. But yeah, um, apparently there was a, a chair in the. Uh, The old hotel that was haunted recliner recliner-ish type chair I don't know if you've heard anything if you're from Campbellsport and you've heard anything about that uh, haunting at the hotel the old hotel comment below I'm always willing to hear stories about that I appreciate everybody who's been commenting I mean it's been awesome thank you very much well that was Campbellsport well, that's going to do it for this episode of Road Trips with a Yogi. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for tuning in and watching my videos, for subscribing. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you know somebody who might be interested in these kinds of videos, please tell your friends, tell your relatives, tell anybody. That's going to do it for this episode, folks. And until the next one. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and I'm out of here.